guys welcome to this live stream at Coastal Bend College for our 10 a.m. streaming of our commencement here at CBC and we hope you enjoy this stream and uh, at about 10 o'clock we'll have all of our students walk in to the ceremony to our pomp and circumstance and uh, that's when the fun begins so once again everyone out there on the internet welcome to Coastal Bend College success happens here.
may be seated. Oh. God, hey, this is a good looking crowd here today to celebrate with us the 2023 spring commencement ceremony here at Coastal Bend College. Before we begin, uh, I would like to remind everybody in the uh, unlikely event of an emergency, we have three emergency exits, one there and two behind us. And please, if you would, silence your cell phones. <clears throat> Additionally, I would like to let everyone know that our graduation is being live streamed at coastalbend.edu slash live. It is an immense honor to have all of you here today. We all come together today to celebrate the accomplishments of the spring 2023 class. The spring 2023 graduating class earned over 500 degrees in certificates. Let's give them a round of applause. For you. <laughs> Graduates, today we celebrate the hard work, dedication, and commitment that each one of you has shown throughout your academic journey. I want to commend you for your perseverance in the face of adversity, your willingness to take risks, and your unwavering determination to succeed. As graduates of Coastal Bend College, you are joining a distinguished group of alumni who have gone on to achieve great success in their respective fields. You've acquired the knowledge, skills, and tools necessary to take the next step in your academic or professional career. I have no doubt that you will continue to make us proud. In the words of Ralph Waldo Emerson, nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. As you embark on this new chapter in your lives, I encourage you to continue to pursue your passion and goals with the same enthusiasm and dedication that has brought you here today. Finally, I want to thank you for choosing Coastal Bend College as your educational home. It's been an honor and privilege to serve as college president, and I look forward to seeing you do great things and all the many accomplishments you will have in the upcoming years. At this time, I would like to introduce the stage party. We have, to my far left, the president of our faculty association, Trey Fricks. Deacon Santos Jones. <laughs> Trustee Jerry Sanchez. <laughs> Trustee Mercy Flynn. <laughs> Trustee Velma Elizalde. <laughs> the Board of Trustees Secretary Carol Losey. <laughs> Board of Trustees Chair, Victor Gomez. Our keynote speaker who promised to keep it under three hours long. She did promise to do that. Judge Janet Watley. College's Provost, Dr. Patricia Rehack. Our Dean of Student Services and Accessibility, Dr. Kayla Deborah Jones. Dean of Transfer and General Education, Mark Secor. <laughs> Dean of Nursing and Allied Health, Juana Hernandez. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, Dean of Career and Technical Education, Dean Jared Blyton. <laughs> we'll have a talk with him later. <laughs> if you all would, please join me Stand by standing. Gentlemen, please remove your head covers. Uh, please remain standing for the invocation, the playing of the national anthem, and the Pledge of the Allegiance. At this time, I'd ask Deacon Santos Jones to the podium to lead us to the invocation. Let us bow our heads. Good and gracious God, this is a day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. 
Today is a culmination of years of work, years filled with challenges and triumph, losses and laughter, friendships and growth. Your spirit of wisdom has empowered the hard work and discipline of these students in such a way that their hunger for learning has been nourished with knowledge, discovery, creativity, and determination. As they prepare to walk across the stage, let them walk in prayerful gratitude for the many blessings that they have made this moment real and filled with great potential. In gratitude, we pray for their families and the many who have sacrificed and worked to see them to this hopeful moment. In gratitude, we pray for the professors and administrators who have challenged, cared, and crafted them along this academic journey. God, even as they have faced challenges and accomplished much, may they understand that their lives now move into a new chapter where there will be more challenges to face and more will be demanded of them in order to accomplish good things. May your grace today ease their fears and anxieties so that they may stay encouraged about their future. May your spirit guide them as they unfold the next chapters of their lives. Help them to enlighten hope in the world and bring good things to your kingdom. And may the celebration be a reflection of the blessings we find knowing and loving you. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Amen. Amen.
This is just, uh, just a gentle reminder that no one does it alone. You had tons of help. You had your teachers, you had your parents, you had all of these folks around you that have supported you, guided you, helped you with the law, <coughs> getting you a ride to school, whatever it may be. There are a thousand things that have to happen for you to be here today. And you couldn't have done this alone. So just a general reminder, thank everyone for what they've done to help you get here because you'll also be the one in the future to help others get to their point in their goal in life as well. So let's have a great day, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. At this time, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker, Judge Jana Watley. Judge Watley is a highly experienced and respected legal professional who has served as the 343rd District Court Judge for more than 22 years. She was first elected in 2000 and took office in January 2001. Her court has jurisdiction over five counties in South Texas and presides over a diverse range of cases, including civil, family, and felony criminal matters. Born and raised in Sinton, Texas, Judge Watley has, all, has always had a deep connection to her home state. She completed her undergraduate study at Texas A&M University College Station. I knew it. <laughs> I can't take you guys anywhere. <laughs> she did that before earning her law degree from Baylor School of Law. There you go. A little support, a little love for you, Judge. Outside of her professional work, Judge Watley enjoys spending time with her husband, Trey, and two children. Her passion for her work, combined with her deep love for her family and her home state, makes Judge Watley a truly remarkable legal professional and a beloved figure in South Texas. Graduates and guests, please welcome to the podium, Judge Watley. memory of making a choice was whether or not I was going to eat the peas my parents put on my table, on the, on the plate, on my table. And my option was, if I didn't eat the peas, I had to stay at the table until I was excused. I don't think anybody, including myself, realized what was going to happen because I was not going to eat my peas. And I think my parents thought, hey, she's going to go eat her peas, clean the table off, help her siblings, and we're going to move on. It didn't happen. I invite everyone here today to think about the first choice that you made that you can remember. Honored, honored members of the graduating class, Dr. Hoggard, deans, provost, instructors, staff, professors, family, friends, I'm deeply honored today to be able to speak to you on such an important occasion. I think everyone here knows life is full of choices. Um, they may not be whether to eat your peas. And by the way, I do not eat peas. I will never eat a pea. Um, my kids, when their dad was not around, did not eat peas um, because he likes peas. But every day involves a choice. Our life is a grand total or sum of the choices we make. It's been written numerous times that choices are essential to a human being's well-being, our happiness, and our mental health. Barry Schwartz in the book, The Paradox of Choice, states there are three broad categories of choices. We have consumer choices, we have complex choices, and then we have personal life choices. These choices we make are affected by factors around us. And some of those important ones are our culture, our education, and our emotions. Merriam-Webster defines uh, culture as a customary belief, social forms, and material traits of a, of a racial, religious, or social group. The majority of us here today live in the United States. Many of the decisions and choices that we make in our lives are based off the American deep-seated belief of freedom to choose, the ability to be self-reliant, 
and a customary belief that's shared throughout our entire country. Obviously, education affects our choices. Whether or not we're fortunate enough to have a formal education, such as you graduates have got, been able to obtain, or whether or not it's something we've learned through life, on-the-job training, within group learning, but those lessons that we have learned all affect how we make our choice. Many of those things help us with the decision-making process. And so as you now know, what you have accomplished and what you have learned will allow you to make more informed choices as you mature in your life. There's a Chinese proverb that basically says a wise man makes his own decisions, but an ignorant man follows the crowd mindlessly. So I invite each of you, don't be the follower of the crowd mindlessly. Use your education that you have gained today, or this, this last couple of years, I should say. Now, emotions, we have high emotions such as anger and excitement. They always play a part in our choices. And so just think about the Las Vegas Strip, for example. When you walk into those casinos, you've got music, lights, fun. It is excitement. And even the most modest gambler who has a budget, because of the excitement and emotion involved, may walk in there and spend a whole lot more money than they plan to. And that's what they play off of on the strip. Of uh, the three I just talked about, the culture, education, and emotions, the only one you have total control over in your life is your education. And many of y'all have taken advantage of that. Reacting to situations and then making misguided or uninformed decisions will affect how you feel and how your well-being is. It can also cause the, new, the word that we all know, <coughs> stress. Being proactive versus, versus reactive to decision-making process will help you make the right choices for you in your life. Mark Twain is credited with the statement, good decisions come from experiences and experiences come from bad decisions. Sometimes not making a decision is making an actual choice. But there's also times when you don't choose and you won't, you know, that is, that is a bad choice not to choose. So you have to be able to analyze the situation and know where you need to go with that. At times in my career, I'll have many times people come before me, parties as we call them, and they're wanting me to do something. And they're wanting me to do something, make something different than where they are today. I mean, no one goes to the works and want everything to be the same, correct? So they all want me to make a change. And sometimes both parties want things to change. And I've learned through a lot of on-the-job training, contrary to all the education I was fortunate to, to gain, that sometimes not making a choice and leaving things as they are is actually the best choice for everybody. I uh, had discussed previously, uh, there was a story I like to tell sometimes, a prosecuting lawyer called a witness to the stand. She was elderly, a little bit sedate. And he asked um, the, the witness, do you know me? And she says, oh yes, I know exactly who you are. I used to babysit you. You are a true disappointment to me and you're lazy and careless and can't build a solid relationship with anybody. Well, he was somewhat taken aback. So he said, well, do you know the defense attorney? She says, oh yeah, I know him too. I've known him since he was a small boy, and frankly, he's been a big disappointment. He cheats people, and he manipulates them, and talks about them behind their back. Well, with that, the judge called the two lawyers up to the stand and said, if either one of you chooses to ask her about me, I'm going to hold you in contempt of court. <laughs> Again, inaction many times is the decision that we all need to make. Well, J.K. Rowling, who we know all wrote the Harry Potter series, in the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, Harry comes out of the Chamber of Secrets and he's worried that he's going to be like Tom Riddle or Lord Broadmont. And Dumbledore wisely tells Harry, it is your choices, Harry, that define who we truly are, not your abilities. There are thousands of quotes about choices and decision making and I think we all should look them up. Put them on your phone lock screen. Put one of those quotes that, that means something to you on your refrigerator or on your bathroom mirror. 
But I also challenge each of you today to remember you cannot control other people's behavior. You can choose how you respond to that behavior. No one can also ever take your attitude away. You can always choose to have a positive attitude. And always choose to look at life half full and not half empty. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge Watley. While you were speaking, I was trying to think of my first decision. And you captured it when you said bad decision, so <laughs> there you go. Um, then when you said something about Vegas, I have a guest up in the stand who totally lost his attention, too. I think you know he just laughed. You know he laughed anywhere. Today, I, uh, I'd like to invite next to the podium Dr. Rehack, the provost, to discuss some of the academic awards that you receive. Many of our graduates are wearing stoles and cords today to represent their accomplishments and memberships in various honor societies and student groups. Students wearing red, white, and blue stoles are veterans of a United States Armed Forces Division. Coastal Bend College wants to offer a special recognition to show the college's respect, appreciation, and gratitude for our veterans, students, service to our country. Will all veterans please stand and be recognized. Students wearing gold, stoles, and tassels are members of the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society, which recognizes academic excellence. Will all the Phi Theta Kappa members please stand and be recognized? are in our high school and part of CBC's dual credit program. Dual credit program allows high school students to graduate with certificates and degrees before they graduate from high school. At this time, I ask that all of our high school dual credit students please stand so we can all applaud your outstanding achievements. we have our honors graduates. CBC awards the distinction of honors, high honors, or highest honors to students receiving associate degrees that have earned cumulative grade point averages of 3.5 or higher. Will all of our students graduating with honors please stand? Please rise and remain standing. Dr. Hoggart and CBC Board of Trustees, on behalf of the CBC faculty, it is now my honor to certify the candidates for certificates and degrees. Under the authority vested in me by the laws of Texas and the, in the policies of the Board of Trustees of Coastal Bend College, I hereby confer upon each of these graduates the respective certificate and degree for which you have been recommended upon successful completion of all requirements. Congratulations. It is now time for the graduates to take, their, take the stage for the presentation of certificates and degrees. Graduates, you may be seated.
Lydia Marie Arredondo. Alec Jaden Benavides. Anna Lee Benavides. Brandon Samuel De Leon, honored PTK. Tommy Lee Garcia. Savannah Diane Gonzalez. Ryan Andrew Gonzalez, PTK. Catherine Rochelle Gutierrez, Honors PTK. Iselia Lynn Gutierrez. Samantha Desiree Hernandez. Hartman. James Michael Jones, PTK Honors. Nade Rigo <laughs> Madison Lynn Bike <laughs> Roxanne Escamilla Rodriguez <laughs> Victoria Esperanza Rodriguez Dominique Danielle Solice. Yeah. Edward Eden Thomas. <laughs> Stacy Sanders Tapia, PTK. Allie Blair Denton. <laughs> Vivica Zaili Salazar. <laughs> Gabriela Arredondo, PTK. Olivia Sky Ayala. <laughs> Karina Porter, BTK. <laughs> Alexandra Lee Barrera. Sadie Lynn Martin Hill. <laughs> Crystal Lynn Cadillo, PTK. <laughs> Isabella Irene Chavez, PTK. Sienna Lynn Dinowith. Ramon Gabriel Gaona Jr. Jay Lee Garza. Taylor Renee Gomez, PTK. <laughs> A 
Alejandra Garcia. Kendall Leanne Gonzalez. Madeline Marie Herrera, PTK.
Laura Mae Trias, Honors, PTK. <laughs> Jennifer Elaine Trundle, Honors, PTK. <laughs> Ronnie Joe Varney. Lisa Maria Vasquez. <laughs> Bianca Nicole Viegas, Honors, PTK. <laughs> Aspen Genuel Williams. Alicia Ree Bush Martinez. Yeah! Elizabeth Lynn Hayes. <coughs> Anna Rochelle Merrill, PGK. America, Cecilia Stevens. <laughs> Becky Elizabeth Torres. <laughs> Zeke Gomez the third. <laughs> Brittany Isabel Romo. Yadira Reyes. <laughs> Christy Renee Chapa, honors PGK. <laughs> Christy Nicole Garcia. Joseph Arnold Gaza, high honors. Yeah. Alondra Oropesa. <laughs> Victoria Elena Salinas, high honors. Christopher Trevino, highest honors, BTK. Yeah. Alvaro Christian Alanis. Yeah. Karina Magdalene Alanis. Yeah. Kelly Nicole Alarcon, BTK. Jonathan Lee Amaya. <laughs> Debbie Arredondo. <laughs> John Francis Buchanan. Madeline Elizabeth Cantu. <laughs> Roberto Ricardo Kramer. <laughs> Samuel Josue Cadena. Zach 
Tatiana Nove Cantu. Jose Alberto Diaz Jr. PTK. Aliana Alisa Flores. Arnulfo Esteban Flores, BTK. Nathan Daniel Ganza, BTK. Tomas Mario Ganza, BTK. Carolina Nayeli Gomez. <laughs> Estelle Veronique Gonzalez. <laughs> Marina Ray Gonzalez, BTK. Elias Javier Gutierrez, BTK. Jesse Adrian Hernandez, BTK. Ethan Alex Cudera. Jovan Alexander Lozano, BTK. Mariana Irasema Lozano Carvajal. Rolando Omar Martinez, BTK. Molina <laughs> Emma Isabella Nevarez, PTK <laughs> Alejandro Amir Perez. Justin Lee Ramirez. Santiago Ramirez Jr. Corey Lamar Sample. Idali E. Solis. <laughs> Jamie Nathaniel Valderas, PTK. <laughs> Taylor Gabriel Ivanez. Bring it. 
Tyler Clark, High Honors, PTK. Maria Gabriela Cruz Herrera, Honors, PTK. Dylan Paul Gatica, Honors, PTK. Madison Grace Gush, Highest Honors, PTK. Ryan Hernandez, high honors. <laughs> Tiffany Brigitta Janacek. <laughs> Jaden Rose Loya. Michaela Elise Martinez. Lauren Nicole Nava. Germany Daily Salas. Marcos Adario Segura. <laughs> Jacob Michael Valdez. <laughs> Gianna Zeta Love Cantu. Oliver James Holland, High Honors, BTK. Alejandro Samuel Jimenez, BTK. Amanda Kylie Lerma.
Marina B. Villarreal. High honors, PTK. <laughs> Joel Garcia Jr. Honors. <laughs> Ruth Marie Nieto. Lindsay Ray Tijanina, highest honor, PTK. I'm going to go off script. So I just got to look. All the trustees just slaps their shoulders, didn't they? So this is a, for this graduation. This, there's something that's a first here, and I think it was missed on people because some folks do not have the gold stoles for PTK. If you are a PTK member graduating, whether you have the gold stole or not, please stand up. Part of community college missions around the United States is that we remove barriers to success. Phi Theta Kappa is an organization that honors academics and service leadership, and it is a powerful organization in terms of helping students get transfer scholarships. By graduating, as a Phi Theta Kappa member, you are now eligible to a whole lot more substantial scholarships. We are helping you break these barriers down. And I want to give a special thanks to the President and CEO of Phi Theta Kappa, who, who really changed the dynamics of the college uh, last December when she gave me a call. Her name is Dr. Lynn. Titchener Ladner. Look her up on PTK website and you should give her an email and tell her you're from CBC. I promise you she'll write you back. So thank you, Lynn. Okay, our marketing and public relations team has been taking photos, if you've seen, and these will be available for download on Facebook within the next couple days. <laughs> and they don't cost anything. Yeah, there you go. There's the biggest As we approach the final portion of today's commencement ceremony, um, I would like to thank the college staff that planned and executed the commencement ceremonies today. Let's give them a round of applause, please. I'd also like to take just a second to recognize the faculty who worked tirelessly to uh, prepare you for this moment. Faculty, please rise and be recognized. Everybody hates the test until today. At this time, it's my privilege and honor to invite Mr. Jerry Sanchez to speak on behalf of the Coastal Bend College Foundation and the CBC alumni and friends. Mr. Sanchez. As a proud CBC graduate, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you into the community of the CBC alumni. Today is a special day. Today also marks the 55th anniversary of the dedication ceremony of Bee County College. Since then, Bee County College has expanded into what we know today as Coastal Bend College, and it continues to provide students with a strong educational foundation 
and a supportive academic community. At this time, I would like to ask all alumni of both Lee County College and Coastal Bend College to please stand and be recognized. Anyone in the audience, faculty? <laughs> Graduates, these are just a few of the faces of the CDC alumni family that you are now a part of. They represent an esteemed association of people that have done tremendous things for our community. This is your support system. These alumni once sat where you sit now. They represent the past and you represent the future. Before today's ceremony, the CBC Foundation presented each of you with an invitation to join our Alumni and Friends Association. We encourage each of you to fill out these cards and join our association to maintain your connection with Coastal Bend College. Please keep us informed of where your journey takes you. We look forward to congratulating you on your continued success. And now graduates, please rise. It is time to move your castles from the right side to the left side. If you ever forget which side your castle goes on, simply remember that you wear it on the left side over your heart to remind you of your beloved alma mater, Coastal Bend College. Congratulations. <laughs> graduation ceremony. There's a young man right here that Miss Billard is going to get. I'd like him to come up here and bring his sign, but don't let anybody see your sign. Hide your sign. So I saw Ben sitting in the, in the um, stands up there when his mom was coming in. He's holding up a sign. I was remembered. A reminder, I guess I was remembered, of course. <laughs> Go ahead. I, was, I went to school in Arkansas, so you know, <laughs> that's why I deserve that one. Um, I was reminded that uh, this is a very special weekend uh, coming up. And uh, when I saw this, I, I thought, how appropriate. <coughs> So we have a special, Ben, we have a special group of people in the audience and in the gym with us today. So we would like all the mothers to stand, please. <laughs> now show them your sign. Just building on this one, 
Um, on behalf of all the faculty, staff, and board of trustees, we wish you well in your future endeavors. And as always, remember, success happens here. At this time, I would like um, everyone to join me, please, and stand. Nick and Jones, please come on with benediction. I would ask that everyone remain standing and seated, please, as though we process out, and then we will have the stands come out. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> on the same topic of Mother's Day and tapping up on what Mr. Sanchez said, he talked about being part of, of an alma mater, which actually is Latin for loving mother, nurturing mother. So you have a second mom in CBC, and she is becoming your nourishing mother. And so every mother wants the best for her children. So we're going to send you off with the blessing. So I invite parents and all staff to outstretch your hands over our graduates. And graduates, if you would please bow your heads. Before you were even formed, God knew you. While in your mother's womb, God named you. At your birth, God's breast filled you with life. Today we celebrate what you have become at this moment in time. And so we pray, God of our beginnings, we thank you for the gift of these graduates and ask that your almighty hand be upon them as they celebrate this great milestone. May they find comfort from our college's community's continued embrace and support as they journey through life. Help them to look forward to their next steps, whether it be continuing in their education or entering the workforce, particularly help those who are seeking employment to find a suitable job for their education. Give them faith and a sense of purpose in their next steps. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and success. Enable them to stay true to their dreams for your greater glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use their gifts wisely and in service to others. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love, guided by your light, so that they may use their talents to set the world ablaze. In a good way, that is. And we ask God's blessing upon each of them, as well upon ourselves. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace.